Okay, so have you ever tried to like slip into your favorite pair of shoes? Yeah. And there's this like bump oh. right at the base of your big toe. Oh. Making it like a little complicated. I know exactly what you mean. That's a bunion saying hello. Uh-huh. And it's not really a friendly greeting. Not at all. So what do you do? Right. Do you just like pop on some comfy slippers and try to ignore it? Yeah. Or is surgery the answer? Mm. That's what we're going to unpack today. Okay. We're diving deep into bunions and bunion surgery oh. with two awesome sources. Sounds good. Um, And I have to say, yeah. making a decision about any surgery oh, yeah. can be tough. It really can be. There's a lot of information out there. So much. It can feel overwhelming. Absolutely. And we're here to kind of sift through all that information. Oh, okay. Explore the pros and cons of each option. Got it. And ultimately just help you feel confident. Yeah. Talking to your doctor and making the right decision. Makes sense. So first things first. Yeah. What exactly A is a bunion? Right. More than just a annoying bump, right? Yeah, it's actually an enlargement I'll of the bone or the tissue ah, yeah. around your big toe joint. Okay. You might see some swelling, redness, tenderness. Uh-huh. And often that big toe, it starts leaning towards its neighbor. Oh gosh, I know that. Which can make finding shoes a real adventure. Seriously, a nightmare. But the real issue is the impact on your life. Okay. We're talking pain when you walk, mm -hmm. difficulty staying active, yeah. and even potential complications. Complications, like what? Well, for instance, people with diabetes okay. or peripheral arterial disease, mm. which affects blood flow to your limbs. Got it. They need to be extra cautious about sores okay. developing around the bunion uh -huh. because they can lead to some nasty infections. So it's definitely not just a cosmetic thing. No, it's not. But- Let's be honest, for some people. Yeah. The way it looks can be a factor. Absolutely. I've definitely had moments where I felt self-conscious about my feet. I think that's totally understandable I mean, to want your feet to look and feel their best. For sure. But when it comes to treatment, yeah. the first thing you need to know is that the world of bunion surgery, okay, it's vast. Okay. There are over a hundred different procedures out there. Over a hundred? Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of options. It is a lot. It's crazy. And that's why it's so important. Yeah. To find a surgeon who really understands yeah. your specific needs. So they can kind of guide you. Exactly. Okay. Some surgeries focus on simply removing the bony bump, right. while others involve realigning the soft tissues. Okay. Or even fusing the bones together. Fusing bones. Yeah. Sounds pretty intense. It can be. Is that common? It depends on the severity of the bunion mm -hmm. and the individual's needs. Okay. Sometimes it's necessary to create more stability in the joint. Got it. But as you can imagine, anytime you're cutting and shifting bones, there are inherent risks involved. Okay. So let's talk about those risks. Okay. What can actually go wrong right. with bunion surgery? Well, first of all, any surgery carries the general risks of infection, bleeding, and reactions to anesthesia. Sure. But with bunion surgery specifically, mm -hmm. some things to consider include pain and swelling. Okay. That lingers even after the surgery. Mm. Stiffness in the toe. Yeah. And yes, even the possibility of the bunion coming back. Wait, the bunion can come back? Yeah. Even after surgery? Unfortunately, yeah. So it's not a guaranteed fix. It's not. Okay. And in some cases, yeah. there can be nerve damage, okay. which can lead to numbness or tingling in the toe. Oh, wow. There's even a chance yeah. that the big toe might end up okay. a bit shorter than it was before. A shorter toe. That's wild. It can happen. So with all these potential risks, yeah. is surgery even worth it? Mm. Does it actually work? That's the million dollar question. And the answer, as with most things in life, is it depends. Okay. It really comes down to three key factors. Okay. How severe the bunion is, mm. what type of surgery is performed, Got it. and the skill of the surgeon. Okay. And just as important is managing your expectations. Uh, bunion surgery is primarily about reducing pain. Okay. And improving how your foot functions. Yes. Are. So it might not necessarily give you a picture perfect foot. Exactly. You know, if your main goal is cosmetic improvement, yeah. you might end up disappointed. That makes sense. Yeah. So what about people who aren't quite ready to go under the knife? Right. What are their options? Well, there are plenty of non surgical ways to manage bunions and oh. keep you comfortable. Like what? Things like wearing shoes with a wide toe box, Sorry. using bunion pads to cushion the area, hmm. and even custom orthotics orthotics yeah to right. help support your foot and align those bones so those custom orthotics they actually help with the alignment 
They can, yes. And of course, good old-fashioned pain relievers can come in handy, too. Oh, for sure. Yeah. So it's not just surgery or bust. Well, There's a whole spectrum of things to try absolutely. before going down that road. Exactly. But how do you know which approach is right for you? That's a great question. Yeah. And here's where things get really interesting. Okay. Deciding whether or not to have bunion surgery mm. is a very personal decision. Yeah. You have to weigh the potential benefits against the risks. Right. Consider your lifestyle and your priorities. Okay. And, of course, have a frank conversation with your doctor. Okay, so let's talk about those pros and cons. Right. In more detail. Okay. What are the advantages mm -hmm. of choosing the surgical route? Okay, let's dive in. Well, as we touched on earlier, surgery offers the potential for real pain relief. Okay. And I'm not just talking about like a little improvement. Right. We're talking about like getting back to doing the things you love yeah. without that constant nagging pain. It's like getting your freedom back. Exactly. Yeah. And it's not just about pain relief. Ugh. Surgery can actually improve the way your foot works. Oh, wow. You might find it easier to like walk stand for longer periods. Yeah. And maybe even wear like a wider variety of shoes comfortably. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. So that's a big plus for the surgery side. Definitely. But what about the downsides? Yeah. What are we trading off for those benefits? Well, the biggest one is the recovery period. Okay. Bunion surgery is not a quick fix. No. You're likely looking at weeks or even months of downtime. Wow. While your foot heals, yeah. this could mean taking time off work, uh -huh. limiting your social activities, yeah. and needing help with everyday things. Yeah. That's a big consideration. It is. And, of course, there are those risks we talked about. Right. Infection complications. Yes. The chance of the bunion coming back. Uh-huh. It's a lot to think about. It is. It really is. And it's important to remember that even with a successful surgery, right. you might have some lingering stiffness or limited movement in your toe. Oh, really? So it's not a decision to take lightly. Okay, so we've explored the surgical side of things. We have. Now let's flip the coin. Okay. Talk about the non-surgical options. Right. What are the advantages of trying those first? Well, the most obvious plus is that you're avoiding surgery altogether. Okay. That means no hospital stay, yeah. no anesthesia, right. no lengthy recovery, uh -huh. and no risk of those surgical complications we talked about. So it's a much gentler approach, yeah. and you're back on your feet sooner. Exactly. But does it actually work? It can. Really? For many people, simple measures like wearing the right shoes, okay. using bunion pads, and taking over-the-counter pain relievers yeah. can make a world of difference. Wow. And custom orthotics can be a game changer. Okay. They're designed to support your foot and redistribute pressure mm -hmm. away from that painful bunion. So it's like giving your foot a little extra support yeah. to do its job properly. Exactly. But what if those conservative treatments aren't enough? Right. What happens then? That's a great question. Yeah. And here's the good news. Okay. You're not stuck. Okay. If those non-surgical options don't provide enough relief, right. you can always explore surgery later on. Oh, that's good to know. It's not an all or nothing decision. I love that. Yeah. It's like having a plan B just in case. Exactly. So let's recap what we've learned about each path. Yeah. Starting with surgery. Mm -hmm. What are the key advantages and disadvantages? Okay. So with surgery, the big wins are like significant pain relief. Okay. Better foot function. Yeah. And maybe even like rocking those stylish shoes again. Nice. But on the flip side, yeah. you're facing a longer recovery. Right. Potential complications. Mm -hmm. And the bunion might come back. So it's kind of a gamble. Yeah. But with a big potential payoff. Okay. What about the non-surgical route? Mm. What are the main takeaways there? Well, the beauty of the non-surgical approach is yeah. that you're sidestepping those surgical risks right. and that long recovery time. Uh-huh. Plus, it's often a more budget-friendly option. Okay, that makes sense. But the trade-off is that those treatments, yeah. they might not provide enough relief for everyone, okay. and they won't change how the bunion looks. So it's really about finding what works best for you. Exactly. Okay. There's no one-size-fits-all answer. Right, and that's why talking to your doctor is so important. Absolutely. It can help you figure out, like... How severe your bunion is. Mm -hmm. Talk through your lifestyle, your goals, yeah. and guide you towards the best path. It's all about personalized care. This has been such an eye-opening deep dive. Me too. I feel like I've learned so much about bunions. Yeah, there's a lot to consider. And the different ways to tackle them. For sure. What's your biggest takeaway? I think, for me, the biggest takeaway is that you have options. That's a good one. Whether you choose surgery right. 
or stick with conservative treatments. Yeah. The important thing is to feel empowered mm -hmm. to make the decision that's right for you. So well said. And on that note, yeah. I want to leave you with this thought. Okay. Imagine yourself a year from now. All right. What does your ideal foot feel like? Oh, okay. What are you doing? Mm. Maybe you're dancing the night away, Fun. hiking that mountain trail, yeah, nice. or simply walking comfortably without a second thought. Love that. That vision can be your compass as you navigate this journey. It's a great way to think about it. Remember, the best choice is the one that lets you live your life to the fullest. Absolutely for him.